Hi, my name is Megan Keenan. I'm a respiratory therapist at Gaylord Specialty Healthcare. Taking a family member home who requires ventilator support is a huge commitment. Here at Gaylord, we want to provide you with some vital information about what it takes to prepare yourself, your family, and your home for a ventilator patient so that you can make a thoughtful, informed decision about the care of your loved one. Once your loved one has been admitted, we may still work on weaning them from the ventilator support with the goal of maximizing the hours in the day that they are not vent dependent. For some patients, we will be able to wean them from the vent during the day, but they will still require a ventilator to breathe at night. If we cannot wean your loved one at all, then we will begin discussing a training plan to take them home on the vent full time. At this point, you and your loved one should discuss bringing them home, seek out long-term placement, which is very limited in Connecticut, or consider transitioning them to hospice care. It's a choice that requires a great deal of reflection and deliberation in consultation with your loved one, their care team, and your family. Should you decide to bring your loved one home on a ventilator, it will be critical to have two trained caregivers who are prepared to commit their time and attention to the care of a home ventilator patient. We require both a primary and a backup caregiver, and both individuals need to be able to commit to intensive training with Gaylord staff and the home care company before your loved one discharges home, as well as long-term care after they arrive at home. If you're unable to commit to training, you may want to consider if taking someone home on a ventilator is the right choice for you and your family. A ventilator patient will need constant care and supervision. At Gaylord Respiratory Therapy staff will train you in a variety of essential skills, including how to care for clean and suction the tracheostomy tube, the use of a resuscitation bag, and how to handle emergencies, and taking the patient on and off the ventilator, if your loved one can be off the ventilator for a period of time. Staff will also help train caregivers in the use of any additional equipment that the patient will be using at home for their breathing, such as airway clearance device or nebulized medication. Additionally, staff from nursing and therapy will help to train caregivers about other specialty care needs, such as feeding tubes and mobility aids. The Respiratory Therapy Discharge Liaison or Care Manager will contact you to discuss a home care company. If you already have a home care company and they provide ventilators for the home, you can stay with them. If not, then we can recommend a home care company. Once you have a home care company in place, the home care company will conduct a home inspection to assess the space, functionality, and electrical system in your home to ensure it will be a safe environment for a ventilator patient. The home care company will also train caregivers on the specific model of a ventilator that your loved one will be using. This training can take place at Gaylord or right in your home. Prior to a ventilator patient's discharge home, the primary caregiver is required to stay overnight at Gaylord where they will handle the ventilator at night, with our staff as a backup for any issues or questions that arise. A repeat of the overnight stay may be needed if any issues are identified. For more information about home ventilator care, please refer to the other videos in this series. We hope this video will help you to make the very best decision for your loved one and your family.